Hey guys, welcome to week 200 of the Super Mario World ROM Hack Races. Today's level is called Living on the Edge by Margo and Maddie. It's rated 5 for difficulty, and this race was kind of a big deal for a couple reasons. Margo has worked on four previous ROM Hack Race levels, and at the time this was released, uh, she had made four standalone ROM Hacks. Maddie created a level for the races before, uh, she did two standalone ROM hacks, including Super Sonic Saves the World World, and allegedly made a small, obscure indie game about climbing a mountain. Uh, this being a big round number and having a high profile creator, turnout for this race was the most that I've ever seen, so competition was pretty stiff. Let's go ahead and get started. In the Mushroom Kingdom Justice System, Kaizo crimes are considered especially heinous. The dedicated players who complete these courses form an... Now this week's ROM hack race actually has two levels in it, but only one is required for the actual race. So we get in the level and we see that we actually are Sonic the Hedgehog. Whenever you collect one of these pink rings, it changes your jump type between regular jump and spin jump. And I only have the ability to do normal jumps from the ground. The only way I'm getting into a spin jump state is by collecting one of the pink rings. And right here we're also introduced to these pink blocks. If I spin into one of those, I get a high bounce off of it. This level has a lot of really short sections and a ton of midways. It's honestly kind of refreshing. Now, there was actually an option at the very start to play without midways, but I think you'd have to be a little bit crazy to do that during a race. Now, I will go ahead and mention one thing. Those gray blocks with the kind of glowing eyes on them, those are death blocks. I don't really think that that's a very good graphic for a death block. I kept running into problems while I was playing this where I just couldn't read these as being death blocks. We'll also see this a lot with the pink blocks. I get a much smaller bounce off of them if I don't hold the jump button down, and I need to do that to get under those bullet bills. I like the little loop around you have to do there in order to go back to a regular jump to bounce off the bullet. And it's always pretty fun spinning through these bats. They just kind of sit still and let me use them to work my way down. Look at this biatch go. So the stationary bats that we've seen have given me a pretty ordinary bounce off of them. But with the stationary eeries, I get a much higher bounce off of them when I don't hold the jump button. So this section here is basically a bunch of order of operations puzzles. I need to make sure I grab the rings and bounce off the enemies in the right order, otherwise I just can't make it to where I need to be. Now something that's really kind here is the Toadette indicator, letting me know that there's something I need to look out for, even if I didn't know what it was, and it was maybe a little too late. This section really doesn't have a whole lot that's new in it. Uh, we add in the winged platforms to the mix, but otherwise it's just the same thing that we've been doing. And getting over here, we can see another new type of block up in the top right. That blue block is going to give me a significantly higher bounce than even the pink block does. 
We've also gained P speed at the bottom so that we can actually make it all the way from the right side to the left side of the screen. I really like this section. Now grabbing one ring is one state change. So when I'm swapping from an Eerie to another Eerie, I need an even number of rings. And whenever I need to change my jump type, I just need to collect an odd number. And it's left as an exercise for the player to figure out how to get the right sequence of rings. Now there's not always a warning when there's something you need to look out for. I was honestly pretty lucky that my reflexes were fast enough to grab that midway. I like this, where my only path forward forces me to go through the ring, so I kind of have to go out of my way to grab the other ring to get back into the spin jump state. Now we start falling down again here. Uh, to me, this level feels like it's massive. It's really wide and also really, really tall. I have no intention of becoming a martyr, you sons of bitches. Uh, what happened there with that last one? I didn't anticipate it, but it turns out that grabbing a pink ring while you're still standing on the ground is enough to put you into a spin jump state and get that high bounce off the blue block. This is the final section of the level. And we're introduced to a bunch of boo rings here. They have different numbers of boos and different speeds, which gives me different patterns to go through. I can't just approach all of these the same way. Here we've got another Toadette warning. I didn't actually hit it during the race, but there is a Kaizo block directly to Toadette's left. I sort of thought I'd still be bouncing over further to the left there, but the screen just totally stopped scrolling, and the keyhole was revealed by me breaking that final blue block. I'm making sure I'm hitting this blue block as far to the left as I can so I can swing over, grab the key, and come back to the keyhole. Now this was a milestone race. Between the round number and who made the level, we had a ton of racers this week. My time was 16 minutes and 15 seconds. That put me in 7th place out of 31 racers who finished. So that level that we just played was Living on the Knife. We didn't play it, but it also had Shore Shot in here. Uh, these levels were part of a full ROM hack called Sure Shot, featuring Sonic the Hedgehog, which, if you wanted to play these today, that's how I'd recommend doing it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to keep putting out these videos showing my part of every week's ROM hack race. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more here on YouTube. You can also find me on Twitch and TikTok. My links are down in the description. It's over!